Well, businesses everywhere are being forced to adapt, and that includes a couple of Oklahoma distilleries. The Prairie Wolf Distillery in Guthrie and the Red Fork Distillery in Tulsa cannot keep up with demand. Not for their high-quality small-batch liquors, which also continue to sell well, but for their newest product, hand sanitizer. You are looking at Clarence the Still. Yes, the Red Fork Distillery has named his 250-gallon copper still. And this is master distiller James Johnson, who until last week was quite proud of his top-shelf spirits. Me, it's just hard. I like to see it drank instead of spilled on somebody, but that's the way it is. Johnson has just begun a six-hour run that will produce about 23 gallons of 160-proof eucalyptus-scented hand sanitizer. Some of it will be sold to the public in these 750 milliliter whiskey bottles, but not most. Most of this, including 85,000 bottles that we had delivered, is all to be given out free to the uh, you know, first responders, police, fire departments, such. 85,000 bottles plus plastic caps and labels, all donated free of charge by other Oklahoma companies. So it's really been a, a true, true community effort. You know, the demand's been incredible. I mean, we. We, we're, we're nowhere at all close to meeting all the demand that's out there. Mike Hoy and his wife Dana started this business a year and a half ago, and making hand sanitizer was not part of the master plan. But as of last week, that's all they're making right now. We have some guys from uh, Hoy Construction over here that are normally doing construction work, helping put labels on and boxes, and so it's keeping some people uh, employed. And it's, it's, it's making a difference in that way. 90 miles to the west, Prairie Wolf Spirits in Guthrie has also answered the call and recalibrated its distilling process to produce and package hand sanitizer and spray bottles in half-gallon jugs. First responders receive free refills in the morning, and the rest is sold to the public in the afternoon. People are more than welcome to drive up, but we kind of have it set up as a drive through and people can buy what they need right there. Co-owner Jonathan Stranger says by this time next week, his distillery will have the capacity to produce 120,000 bottles of sanitizer per week. The biggest concern we've had lately is the supply chain. Obviously, global supply chains are cut up everywhere, so we've spent the past few days really locking in our supply chain. Starting on Friday, we'll have a consistent supply of everything that we need. The raw materials that we use to make vodka or gin or rum are the same raw materials that you need to make hand sanitizer, just at a higher concentrations. Add hydrogen peroxide and glycerin and voila, Prairie Wolf Distillery Hand Cleaner. And just as in Tulsa, high demand means work for people who have lost their jobs because of COVID-19. Fortunately, Jonathan, um, he has several restaurants and um, was able to provide us with a lot of his employees that are now unfortunately out of work, so we put them to work here. A generous gesture in a time of need, though both distilleries do want you to know they still sell a drinkable product too. We have our Southern Journey Vodka. The Hoys are looking forward to the day that they can get back to making handcrafted moonshine, but that day isn't today. Yeah, we are now an official hand sanitizer uh, manufacturer. We, all of our capacity has gone to making hand sanitizer. The demand is so high. It's, uh, you know, it's, we, we can't, we, we just can't make enough.